Yee, what's going on guys? Brilu here, and today I'm doing a video that is a little bit different than what I normally do, but I figured I'd give it a shot. So I had played the original Paladins game on console for like a few months. This was maybe, I want to say six months ago or so at this point. And it was okay, but it just kept reminding me of like how it was kind of like a cheapish version of Overwatch. And I was like a top 10 Ash on the PS4 at, at one point, so it's not like I was bad or anything. Besides that, I digress. I had learned that Paladins was actually coming out with a mobile game, and I was interested, so I was like, yeah, you know, I'll, get, I'll check it out. You know, it's free, why not? And this is the game that you're actually seeing in the background, Paladin Strike. And I actually kind of like the game. It's pretty good for a mobile game. If you like Paladins, their characters, and mobile-like playstyle, you should definitely get it. It's free, so why not? It's it's definitely a lot more MOBA style elements in, in it in this uh, game rather than the actual PC Paladins game, which is more of a, like a it's, which is more kind of like Overwatch in where it's like a hero shooter. But I I, I feel like MOBA games work really well for uh, mobile. Um, so yeah, it works really well. Uh, so now on the actual video, sorry, I tend to kind of go off on tangents, but this will be more of a tips and tricks for for beginners. It's not like crazy secret tips or anything. If you don't have time to play a lot or you just got the game, hopefully you'll find this useful. Tip number one, <laughs> don't worry about saving gold. It's kind of useless. You can't really use it on anything like skins or heroes even. I was actually a little, little worried at first that they were going to make the gold currency super grindy to get to get like new heroes and stuff because there are essentially three different types of currency in the game there's like gold tickets and then there's like the crystals golden tickets you can get in game and then there's like the uh crystals which you can only buy and yeah usually that's how it goes in these free-to-play games especially mobile games either you gotta grind like an insane amount of hours to get the in-game currency or you can just pay uh real money up front but the microtransactions in this game honestly aren't too bad um, so basically what you can spend gold on are the chests in the shop and the spin wheel thing. They both reset once every day. And since those are literally the only things you can, you know, buy with the gold, you know, you might as well get them. So, and what they give you are runes, which basically help you make your champions even better. Each day there's a new specialty rune chest and a basic one you can buy with gold. Then you can do the spin one. Your first spin is free. Then it keeps going up in gold after each spin. I usually do it until a until about 5k or so. And like I wouldn't really suggest buying the one random core things. Only because it's like 2k for each singular one. But if you still have gold left over from all the other uh, stuff that you bought. Then you know you might as well just go ahead and get, get it. Because like I said that's the only thing you can really spend gold on. Tip number two. Now, in the summons game mode, so far there's only like three game modes in the game. Siege, summons, and deathmatch. In summons, on each team there is like a base thingy. Um, I don't really know what the exact name for it is, but it's like the little building that you can see in the gameplay in the background. Hopefully, you know, obviously I'll put it there when I'm talking about it. But, uh, but yeah, if you go up to it and touch it, you instantly get 50% of your ult. Now, it does go down on cooldown, so you can't just keep going and touching it. Now, I don't know if it's because I'm, like, super low level, but, like, no one that I play with on my team, and I don't think I've noticed on other other teams, seem to know about that because I'm always, like, the first one to go and just touch it and stuff, so I don't know if... I don't really know if other people know about it, but, yeah. Um, but, yeah, part of me kind of feels like I shouldn't say that now just because, like, well, at least the people who will see this will know about it now, and it's sort of like that don't shit where you eat sort of thing, but... Oh well, hopefully hopefully that'll be a good tip. Um, so tip number three, uh, you don't actually need to sit on the point once you captured it. Once you bring the bar up all the way, you can, you can all leave the point and literally not have anyone standing on it and the progress percent will still go up. The enemy team has to physically be standing on the point to stop the prog progress. Um, I don't know if this is supposed to be in the game or if it's just a bug at this point, but as of today or basically when this video is uploaded um that's basically how it, it is in the game you don't actually need to be standing on the point um so don't worry about sitting back on the point go up with your team and zone the enemy team now tip number four this is very similar to the previous tip uh i actually don't know if it's like the same bug or not but once your team or the enemy team 
cap the point, uh, you have to remove them from the point, otherwise the progress percent will still go up. I've lost and won quite a few games like this where the enemy team has like 90% plus capture percentage, and there's like one or two of our guys standing on the point, but one of their guys is still standing on the point. So you would think that at least the progress bar wouldn't increase, but it still does. So unless you have a team whipping alt or they stupidly get off of the point, um, you guys basically win. So like I like I'll show it here in the background as well. But like basically, the percent is still going up even though they're standing, even though the enemy team is standing on the point, and we basically can win the game even though they're standing literally on the point. So yeah, and like I said, like it's still. I don't know if that's supposed to be a bug. I don't know if they plan on fixing it in the future, but as of right now, as of when I'm making this video, and hopefully when I upload the video, that's how it is right now. So, so tip number five. Now this is a very small tip. Probably most people do know about this, but this is something that, at least when I was playing the game for a few days, I didn't know about it until I looked up, but until I ran across this on Reddit. So basically you can instant reload your gun instead of waiting for the, the cooldown to go off. Because if you didn't know, on the basic attacks, there's cooldowns on it, which, you know, you can shoot three really quick, but then you have to wait a bit for it to kind of, like, the bars to kind of recharge. Uh, there's an automatic reload button. It's near the b abilities in the right-hand corner. It's brown with some ammo on it as the icon. It's, like, right there beside the abilities, you know, right beside the bottom ability. Essentially, you can shoot three times, then press the button, and you can get another three shots to use. But be careful. Because it does go on cooldown for like at least 40 seconds or so. So be wise when you do use it. Yeah, so here's a here's a kind of, I guess, quick tip number six. Um, group up with your team. If you guys get wiped, don't just like... What's the word? Don't, don't just trickle in one by one and then try to like 1v6 the enemy team. Like that just will never work. Just if all of you die, but if you guys die, kind of spread out. Wait for each other. Wait for each other and then group up and then you know, attack the point. Hopefully they'll add in like a group group up button in the future. But yeah, that's kind of it for the video. Now, I don't really plan on uploading a lot of mobile games. Um, you know, I don't really plan to do a lot more than maybe this one in the f in the future. But, um, because I just figured I might as well do this just because not a lot of people are doing videos like this on this game and plus it's different for me. It's mobile. And, uh, you know, I figured that maybe not a lot of people know about this too that have just got the game. But, uh, yeah, if you guys want to see me do more videos like this, maybe kind of like information-ish videos, I could probably think of a few more to do. But, yeah, if you guys definitely want, want to see me do more mobile games in general, just uh, leave a like, comment down below. Uh, I don't really plan on doing too much more, but if you guys would like to see more, uh, more like this, or even live comms, I think I can kind of do live comms with the thing that I have, because I, all I did was just download a screen recorder. And I can basically just do it on my phone, record it, like, literally just, just the screen. But I think I can kind of do uh, live comms as well. So, I mean, that'll be interesting. It'll probably be mostly live comms on this game. I don't really have any other games. I have, like, Paladin Strike, which is this game. I have, like, a, like an actual mobile game, which is, like, I think Mobile Legends, I believe. I have Naruto Blazing, which is, like, some weird game. And then I have, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Legends. But yeah, if you guys want to see more content like this or more mobile games like this in the future, just leave a like down below and comment. And yeah, hopefully this was informative. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.